So whether you love them or hate them or think they have absolutely no place in web design whatsoever, sliders are most definitely here to stay, at least for the time being, in web design. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy Brizzy Page Builder makes it to create your own sliders. Very quick, very easy, and this is the kind of thing we're going to create. Two different sliders, different backgrounds, and we can change any element we want on there. So let's just jump over into Brizzy and take a look at how we can do all of that. I'm Paul C and welcome to WP Tuts, where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. Okay, so I'm in the Brizzy editor and as you can see, I've got my page all laid out and I'm ready to go and add in my slider. Now, there's various ways we can do this, but we're going to keep it really simple and we're going to use one of the predefined templates and then we'll edit it and start creating our slider from that basic template. So we can easily do that. All we're going to do is come down to the bottom, click the little plus, and that'll take us in to all the predefined blocks, and we can go through and choose what we want. So let's filter those down just to show us the headers, and I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to click on that, and that'll add it into the site structure. Now you'll notice that it's in the wrong position, but we can rectify that in seconds. All we need to do is come to the reorder blocks on the top left-hand side, grab the block we want, position it exactly where we want, and then we can just close that down very quick and easy. If we want to adjust the margins on any of this, we can do that by simply dragging from the top and dragging the bottom sections. You can see where this gets overlay that allows us to quickly and easily adjust those margins visually, which is really nice. So this is the first thing we've done, but all we've really done is insert a static block. It's not a slider, but well, we can rectify that very easily. If we come to the little toolbox in the top right hand corner of any of our block areas, we can click on there and we can open some context options. First thing we're going to do is click on the very first one, which is the block icon. And from there, you can see we've got a simple tick box that says, make it a slider. Check that and it immediately updates it, position some arrows on the left and right hand side, and it's now converted that to a slider. We can now easily come in and adjust the second slider. You can see at the bottom, we've got these two little pips that shows us we've got two slides available. So let's just click to go to the next one. And now this context option in the top right hand corner will apply only to this particular slide in our slider. So what we need to do, click on there. First things first, let's change the background, change the image. So we'll just remove that from there. Click to add a new image and select one from our library. We'll select that, insert it. You can see that's now positioned it. Unfortunately, you can see the woman's head is being cut off. We can adjust that incredibly easily with Brizzy. All we need to do is come over to this image section on our context menu, grab the little dot in the middle, and we can reposition any way we want on the image to make sure it's perfectly aligned inside our slider area. Incredibly easy to deal with. If we want to set it to parallax, we can do that very easy by using the drop down option to either fixed or animated. But for this example, we'll keep it really simple and leave it on none. Next thing I want to do is change the color of the overlay. So we're going to click on the little color chip. You can see this gives us the option for the overlay. And let's just simply come down and choose one of our predefined colors. And what I'm going to do is just make this slightly more transparent so we can see a little bit more of the image shining through. Once we're happy with that, we can click outside it. And that is pretty much all there is to it. If we want to change any of the content, say, for example, we want to change this button, you just simply click on it. You can make any edits you want in there. So we can easily come in and change the background color if you want to. So we can click on there. The background, let's say we'll set that to white for this example. Set the text to be black. And there you go. That's how easy it is to deal with. So once we've done that, we'll click on Update. And that will now save out that new slider we've created. And if we jump over to our test page and refresh it, we'll see all the changes take place. So there's our slider, slightly smaller than the demo I showed you at the top of the video. And if we click to go to the next slide, you can see there's our updated slide with a different background color, different background image, and our button is also a different color. That's it. That's how easy it is. So for me, I think Brizzy is the next page builder that's definitely worth checking out. It's one of those page builders that they've looked at making the interface the most intuitive and easy to work with that they can while not getting in the way of actually designing your layout. I think they're doing a great job and I can't wait for the pro version to come out and add all those extra features that they're promising us. Speaking of the pro version, if you'd like to jump on board the limited deal they've got at the moment, which is a lifetime deal for a very small amount of money, check out the link in the description below. It's an affiliate link. It gives a small kickback to the channel and helps support what we do, but it doesn't cost you a single penny more. Check it out. You might find it something you'd like to invest in.
As always, if you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, pop those in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of Brizzy. Do you think it's something you'd like to start working with? Let's get a conversation going. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be notified every single time we upload new videos. As always, I've been Paul C, and this has been WP Tuts. Until next time, take care.